just going to be soldering today, so not a huge deal. Um, do I want to fuck with this today? Short bit of LEDs. I really want to test those today, but I think I'm going to focus on this. These don't need to be in here. Uh, let's actually give you some backstory here. I've got... Uh, today we're working on my door controller. Oh, here's the other one. Oh, there were like... Is there another one of those? Mm. Oh, I might as well bring these out for now too. So I'm definitely going to need those. Definitely going to... I already have... Let's place it. These. Uh, yeah, in the background, it is very warm in here. I could do this a little bit later and turn it off, but I'm gonna get this out of my way. Oh yeah, that might be helpful. Or oh, where's this one? USB 32. All right. So, um, I am creating a controller for my front door in my bus and uh, I've been working on this for months now and here we have first prototype second prototype and uh, parts for the uh, I think what's going to be pretty much the final and we're gonna solder that up today and kind of want to show you what we got going on here Got your documentation. All right, I don't know if you can see that at all. Let's uh, screen record. I hope I have enough space on here to kind of show you what's going on here and I can overlay it in the edit. <clears throat> Basically, um, what I'm trying to do is I need um, a handful of sensors and relays to manage the front door, my front door, so, oh, and a motor. So basically, um, I can just kind of draw out what I'm thinking here, because we act I actually have a bit of it already uh, done. Where the fuck that? I want that. And I want, I want purple. So, um, <clears throat> where do I start here? Essentially, to open my front door, there was a big honking lever that pulled out, and that went to um, one of the sides of the doors and then there's uh, a linkage between the two doors that then allows the motion of the one to open the other and uh, it does that so that then this one actually seals on top so this one starts and then it pulls this one off, right so there's two things that we have to figure out and the first one I've already taken the past couple months to do so which is put a, an electronic solenoid latch on the base uh, in this in the foot well and then eventually I think I'm also gonna do one on top but I have to build a bracket that goes all the way across um, but the, the bottom one is working fine. It's been in there for about a month now, and I have it connected to a Raspberry Pi, a Raspberry Pi Zero that's in uh, a little uh, electrical box, a DIN rail electrical box. Was what I started with was <clears throat> ESP32. And we're going to actually come back around to ESP32, but this was running... Um, Wi-Fi, so I have this that goes on here, and then through uh, various things, we'll actually get to this a little bit later, um, in a moment, <clears throat> this is the wiring for the final, the final uh, design uh, that we're going to wire up today, but uh, this I've actually wired up by hand, just sitting here in a little session, basically we have the 24 volts in from my um, my main power system, which is anywhere from 21 to 29.4 volts. And that gets directed towards uh, a motor controller and then also a 5 volt uh, power regulator that then powers the ESP32 and the relays that used to be on here, um, so on and so forth. Um, and my plan for this was to write 
<coughs> some scripts in um, MicroPython to, to get all this to work. Also, we have a 3.3 uh, AMS 1117 for 3.3 volt as well. Anyway, so I was going to write this all in MicroPython and interface with MQTT, and I found myself not really wanting to do that. I, I didn't really care to do write too much code, although I think it was more along the lines that I really wanted to have the majority of these kind of uh, daughter devices to my home automation system become uh, be wired rather than uh, wireless. Uh, I'm trying to kind of lock down security a little bit um, as much as possible, and I think Wi-Fi, the less things that I have on Wi-Fi, the better. Um, also, I'm planning on having quite a few devices on my network, so for reliability, um, I would like uh, wired to be the thing, especially for something like my front door. There's a security issue with wireless and uh, a reliability issue with wire. So um, moved on to uh, Raspberry Pi Zero running, uh, and I was going to write Python for that. And I got an Ethernet adapter, and the Raspberry Pi Zero would connect to here, and then I could write Python instead of uh, instead of MicroPython, and then um, have an Ethernet connected device. But I feel like this is way too much overhead. There's there's a lot of uh, there's an operating system on here. Like the, and my door doesn't need its own operating system, and I think. Uh, this was uh, very much overkill, but it, it started getting me pushed more in the right direction. And then I uh, stumbled across, and I actually already knew about this project. It's called ESP Home. And in um, fact, let me switch to Compi. Get rid of that. Sorry, don't have my iPad set up for. Um, let's actually go to ESP home real quick and it's basically a bunch of um modules everything is broken out to a module like if you get like a relay or um in this case a, a, a mosfet uh you can kind of have it set up to be that there's there's specific code to to send a pwm signal and consider this a a light per se Right, so you'll you'd go into here, and you'd find the documentation for uh, light it's in here somewhere for PWM switch components, fan component. There's a lot of components in here. Where is the light uh, light core? Binary light, monochromatic light. This is monochromatic light. It's probably I'm gonna float I'm gonna float up the component sample brightness only LED strip that can be used with this component and then it's gonna um, write. So even even here we have an output component and that's the PWM of the ESP8266, in our case ESP32. Um, and then that then this light component uses that output component uh, to create this within a home assistant. And ESP home is great because you literally just write these um, configuration files in YAML, and then what it's going to do is it's going to co compile the code that's behind the scenes for that for this light to happen. So you don't have to write anything um, in actual code, which is for me quite a big deal because I absolutely despise writing code. And there's so many things in here, like this is for a temperature sensor, sensor I believe, and then uh, you do have MQTT, but now, uh, originally it was running all of the, the communication back and forth between home assistants over M home assistant over MQTT, but now it's actually using the um, uh, webhooks or um, webhooks or um, it's an it's an async uh, communication now that's much faster than MQTT. And what's great about this is that they've, I don't know if recently, but more recently, uh, the hardware is becoming available to do uh, Ethernet over in 
in ESP Home on an ESP32. So ESP32s, not ESP8266s, but ESP32s will allow you to have an Ethernet uh, connection on board. And I think moving forward, uh, this is what I want my all of my devices to run on. So like the uh, eight channel, uh, the eight channel relay setup could be a, I believe it's a switch component, tech sensor cover. We're gonna be covering covers in a moment. Fan core, switch component, switch, GPIO, GPIO switch. So I would just set up a handful of these, eight of these, platform GPIO, pin 25, and then give it a name, right? And then there's eight of them in there. And as I start hooking things up to them, I can actually start using those. And then this as well for, for uh, lights, if I want uh, the dimming capability, um, you can actually see in, um, if I show you this real quick, let's pull up, where is my, Almost. Oh, is this going to be the new one? It really needs to be in dark mode. So this is my desk's LED strip. And you'll, I can actually, let's see, let's pull up. You'll notice when I turn LED strip off, it's going to fade out and fade back in. And then, but I have my rear, my garage light is currently just on that on that relay over there. So it's just gonna pop on and you can hear it click because uh, it's literally just a switch. Uh, so these are to do dimming. These are definitely for uh, doing dimming stuff. And uh, there's a whole other bunch of stuff. So what this is, in fact, let's go back over to overhead. What this is for, let's real quick reduce the exposure. Nope. Wrong one. Yeah, that's. I'm gonna have to overlay that and make sure this is not still recording. So basically, I've um, taken this. This is an what's called a ESP01 WT30 or ETH01 W ETH01 WT32. It's a. It's got a ESP32 clone on it and. Uh, it's on pins and it's got an Ethernet port. This is not PoE. Um, there are boards that do PoE, but I don't think I really need it. A lot of my, my power runs are just so... I've already got my power runs. I'd love to do PoE, and plus the problem, uh, problem with those are they're uh, quite a bit larger, and I don't know that you can actually pull much from them. So I think I'm just going to stick with powering these devices, and especially this, I need the higher voltage anyways, of my um, 24 volt system into here, because if we look at this, what, are you just like, do I not have enough fucking space on here? I bet I don't have enough fucking app store. I don't want app store. Hold on, y'all. I really want to show you all of this stuff. So, 204.14. Why are you not recording? Screen recording. Okay. You're continuing to screen record. You are continuing to screen record. So I mean, hopefully I get enough footage of this, but this is an app called Concepts, and I've drawn out uh, a few things here that really actually tie everything together. Uh, double check. This is, uh, this right here, this is a NFC controller. So this little board right here will read from my ring, an NFC tag, and we'll send that not only to this this board, but we'll actually send it to Home Assistant. Home Assistant will verify it and then send it back. We can also do verification on the board. Um, I don't know which is better to do. Obviously, uh, if there's an issue uh, in the connection between uh, the board, the ethernet connection between the board and the uh, and Home Assistant, the Pi that's uh, running Home Assistant, then you'll have an issue. Uh, but other than that, I, I don't necessarily see that that, that that as a problem. I think I can probably manage uh, access control a little bit better directly from Home Assistant rather than 
in ESP Home directly, but it is what it is. A lot of this func a lot of these functionalities will actually be um, on on board anyways. So uh, you can see over here, I have an up and down switch which will manage um, opening and closing. That'll be like my exit and door close mechanism. Although I was actually I just found some of my old. Um, emergency stop switches and I'm kind of digging that that as a concept and you got to be careful with uh, the ports that are the, the pins that you use because some you got and you got to cross-reference it uh, with the data sheet that's available because some of these are output only and some of these are input only and for uh, two-way communication you may not be able to to use one of those in in out only ports uh, and have to use uh, another type of port and then over here the 24 volts is also coming in to uh, the power um, buck converter which will take anywhere from like 32 down to 12 volts and then bump that down to 5 volts for to power this board and then the 24 volts is also going directly into my stepper controller because we're going to open the door with a stepper motor. This has to get me to the step that I have the motor in and then can start make, making something that may or may not work with uh, what I'm trying to do here is good. The latch just needs a relay and we have that already, but that's going to be part of uh, this new controller and then um, keep this open so I can see what I'm doing and what I'm working and where I decided everything's supposed to go. But we're gonna get some, I got these breadboards. These are, these are interesting. I had a friend drop off a whole bunch of stuff. This is like your normal breadboard where it's got, it's got four pins in this line. So it's like a bunch, it's four pins, two pins, and then four pins and then that's duplicated horizontally across it. And then it's got a set of pins along the edge for power. This one has the same um, pins along the edge for power and ground, um, but it's uh, four sets of, five sets of two pins, and then that's duplicated this. And this is the one that I want to use. Uh, the one thing I noted about this kind of breadboard where it's just, it's perfboard, it's called uh, perforated just because it's a bunch of perforations on a board that are tin so all of it's just got a bunch of through holes and then you end up like bunching up on a lot of the same power connections or connections in general and it's just it, it looks it looks like a mess underneath there and then this one was uh, an interesting oh I should just reuse this for yeah I'm gonna reuse this for um, for the new one. This is my exit, open and exit switch. Still works. Yeah, looks like it still works. Anyways, and then, what was I talking about? Oh yeah, this one's just a regular breadboard. Like, you have the vertical connections, and then you have a power and ground rail, and a power and ground rail down here, and then the separation in the middle. So this is five. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah. I wonder what my motor is too. Love to have my motor for this. So I'm gonna actually snip this. Do I have snippers available? Pull a bunch of my tools out to do it quick to help a friend. Yesterday and I haven't put them back yet. Very cool. Well, this is gonna get snipped off of this one. I'm gonna reuse it. And then this is actually a known good um uh stepper driver so i'm gonna keep that out there i don't know about that stepper driver uh and then i'm gonna start wiring a bunch of this stuff up because uh i think i skipped over the limit switches which is what you saw on the on that cover so um start with a couple risers I'm going to try to make these as modular as possible so they can be taken apart. And I think eventually I'd like to build a, um, a custom board. So these go on here like this. I believe I have offset them because I don't have 
these are each 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 11, 12. I don't have any 13 pin connectors. I only have uh, 12. Put those on there. And this is going to go this. Solder down. Yeah, that's a good start. That gets us going. So let's get our soldering iron hot. And I am going to be using lead solder. I got a nice big chunky bowl of lead solder recently. Nice 60 40 from uh, Kester. Classic. Don't fuck with the classics. I don't mind using um, uh, unleaded solder. In fact, I, I used unleaded solder uh, quite a bit when I was doing, um, when I was selling stuff. I only sell stuff with unleaded solder. So get this thing started. Cool. I'm gonna do that one and I'm gonna do this one over here. Beautiful. I'm gonna grab my handy. I can't do this a little, raise this up a little bit. What's great about these two, um, uh, two pad connected boards, I'm, I'm hoping, is that it gives me like, I don't have to like directly solder to like the pin here. I can offset it and then solder into that. And if I have like two or three wires, they can probably fit in there and then I can solder those together instead of having to fuck around. Nice thing about having this fan on my back, blowing the smoke away from me, which is great. Cool. That's in there. <clears throat> and what do we have next? I want to do... Oh, right. I'm going to have to um, modify that. Do I have... Where are those? Okay. Here is my set of connectors. We will do... Next, we will remove this. Um... No, we're going to do that. All right, so I want to make sure that this and this don't interfere with each other. So that, and then this is going to have to go on the bottom. And this is for my power converter. This one's going to be a little bit more difficult because I don't really have gravity on my side. I hope that fit. Yeah, I think that's going to fit. What I like to do is use one of these to hold my solder. And I can hold the back of this and then bring the solder and the soldering iron to the pin. So then you get a blob of solder on your soldering iron and it's just fine. If once that dries, cools up there, but once that cools, it should be pretty solid and then you can get the rest in no problem it's back on here get the opposing pin soldered and there's all four of them in there i'm going to have to be careful and before anything i want to uh when this is hooked up before this is actually given power with the board on it i want um are there any straight ones in here cool uh, I'm going to have to set set this uh, to 5 volts, because if I don't and it's too high, then it's going to, we're not going to, things are, we're not going to be happy. Things will be bad. And basically the same, same deal with this, that I'm going to give myself a little bit of solder here. So I was kind of coming at that at the wrong angle last time, so I want to see if I can get a better angle on this this time. There we go. That's what I'm looking for. Come on, come on. No, 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 no. Stay. Don't be a butt. Alright, it's a little... The plastic kind of softened a little bit, and no, it just kind of fell over. Yeah, the plastic definitely softened, softened a little bit and allowed the pin to move over a little bit, but looks like it's going to be okay. And then I'm going to get the rest of these in here. I got, basically got a little power supply to buck our 24 volts down to 5 volts. Uh, once it's calibrated, of course. Can you, can you please think? Ah, whoo, one of those days. I'm gonna double check all of these solder joints, make sure they're wick and good to go. Where did this go? This goes here. This then goes under here. Such a fucking tight fit. I might have to do, I might have to take that off first. God! Can I, like, not stop? Can I please stop dropping everything? All right, that goes in there. See, we got our power supply in there. And, I mean, I'd love for that to be a little bit more flush. 
You probably could be. I mean, I could. I don't really have to be that much of a, a butt about my power supply. I can definitely solder my power supply and maybe very rarely fail. And then this goes in there. Oh god, it's so fucking close. Such a, yeah, that's way too close. I wish I had. Eh, close enough. It's actually nice and tight. It's really level with the other one, so I'm not gonna worry about that as a final seek C because it's got the same it's basically the same thing. Both of these boards are in line with each other and everything's good. That means uh something like my this, my um fuck. Uh why can't I never stepper motor controller? Uh, is definitely going to have to live on top, and I definitely have that as such in my in my mock-up here as once I get this rolling. I really need to... <gasps> I wonder. Y'all mind if I do a thing real quick? Nah, I'll get that set up. There's a way to import the screen on an iPad uh, into uh, Mac to... I'm hoping that that can then go into OBS so I can do things from my iPad more. Anyways, on, uh, if this is recording properly and I can show you this, then um, while well, you see that the power supply is shown at the top, I've actually uh, mentally flipped the um, underside and flipped. I've mentally flipped the pins. So the pins should be the right pins uh, on this on this design. If I can, like actually figure out what the fuck is going on here honestly <sighs> this is not a good this is not a good setup but i'll figure it out and uh we'll, we'll move forward we'll track forward so the, the motor controller is going to have to live on top uh the design shows it on the top but it's actually on the bottom because i wanted to make sure i knew what i was doing just giving myself a little bit of visual all right let's actually disassemble this and start wiring some stuff up uh, let's get this power. Oh, fuck, I did it on the wrong ones. Well, fuck it, I'll just make my power supply over here. I'll just put my power supply, or my input, power input right there. Yeah, I'm okay with that. That's totally fine. No worries, really like. Oh my god, no, that's motherfucker. This is gonna be a major fucking pain in the ass. It's just gonna be. I'm gonna have to route some wires around. <sighs> and once this is in, it's gonna be very difficult to get those wires where they need to go. So let's do that first then. So I'm gonna have to uh, wire that in last, or solder that in last. It's kind of a pain in the ass. Like I said, I do really want to make this a board, but I want to get a proof of concept going first. Um, I think this will be good for, because this, this, this board will definitely work for, um, will work for my, my garage door too, when I, when I get around to doing the hardware for that. Right now it's only on a, a winch, but I've actually uh, starting to pick up the, the pieces to redesign it. And the problem with the winch is that it just like, you can't get a good angle on it. I mean, I could put like a pulley on it, but it's, it's, it was never meant to be the final design. And uh, I want the winch for actually doing winch stuff uh, but I'm going to be powering it with a, a, a beefier stepper motor and a set of garage door. Uh, the spindles that are on the bar for a garage door opener, the, the spring bar for a garage door opener. And then I'm going to use, I have the cables and the actual hubs that I need for that. And then that will be motorized with uh, a beefier stepper motor and I can get the PWM out of the PWM direction and sleep pins are all going to one spot. So maybe if in in that circumstance, instead of having the motor controller on top, you'd have uh, three pins coming out and going to an external motor controller that uh, will power the bigger motor or yeah, the, the beefier motor controller. Excuse me while I vape. Alright, so fuck it. I'm just gonna bodge this. 
Right now I have VO positive, so I'm gonna call that. This is, uh, what did I call you, blue? Blue is supposed to be um, power. Yeah, that's blue, and that goes to this, and that's an easy jump right there, in fact. I'm just gonna do that one real quick. That should be my VO, beautiful. Um, I don't even need to. Or am I jumping it to the other side? Because five volts is on the other side for this board. So this sits in here like this. Double check everything. Yep, my five volt my five volt link is right here. So this wire is gonna go up to here. Yeah, and then what else? We can have so it can work on uh, the front door, the garage door, the same board. Uh, the uh, I was going to make a, a variant of it for uh, roller blinds. So maybe we have three motor controllers on the board and uh, all the end stop switches and stuff that we need. And then we can, uh, that can be a thing for uh, roller blinds where you have like a central hub and all you're sending down is um, the motor wires and the and the uh, stop wires and then you have right here I can put three roller blinds and then now I have motorized roller blinds from I'm gonna make a that's gonna be like a 3d print uh, a board and the, the, the configuration file for um, for ESP home and that'll be like a TV thing that I do hoping I guess I could have done those pins with yeah. Bruh. Cool. I think what I'm gonna do is here's so where is that power? I guess I could put it on the bottom too. So that'll will that be okay? Wonder if that will work. Because that would make things a little bit put that there. No. Yeah, I'm okay with that. Fuck yeah, bud. Yeah, I'm way okay with it with that. So then I gotta do black wire. God, why do I always put my fucking tools down in the dumbest of fucking- Bruh. Thanks, friend. Okay. Black. You. Correct, right? That's the correct wire in sequence. So ground and then it's just prep a wet red wire and then I'll- Every time. Every fucking time. And it's getting way fucking hot in here. Not fine anymore. Oh, right. And then there goes me. Beautiful. And... No! That'll do, friend. Beautiful. Did, uh... Yep. There you are. Alright. So, you have to go to there. So you'll get cut there. What did we say about this? You'll be there. Eh. Not with you'll go here. You go here. So you wanna cut your wires just a little bit long. Cause you're gonna you're going to be. Um, and you'll get used to this, but you wanna be careful that you're not, you know, going over or bridging other connections with your wires. You wanna make them as flush as possible. Ah motherfucker! Yeah, don't let that happen. So I need you to help me out. Put a little bit of, um, use these pliers to hold the insulation so you can cut it properly or strip it properly. Hold the insulation so it doesn't come off the wire. Fuck, dude, is that short? Come a pain in the ass. And if that's the case, then take a blade. Although you don't really want to do this with um, stranded wire. <clears throat> You're totally fine doing it with um, solid core wire. And then grab some tweezers. And you don't have to get this fucking close. You can just loop them around. Like, it's not a huge deal for it to just be a big loop in the air, especially on a prototype. Sometimes I just can't fucking stop myself speaking. I guess what would the word be for? I don't want to call myself a person. It's just trying to keep it clean and keep my wire from getting snagged. I don't. There's that one, and that one here, so. I'd really love to get y'all a, uh, get a microscope so I can kind of, like, get up in there. This is what it looks like right now. See it. Uh, we got power going, uh, one over and up a little bit. We got ground coming straight up to there, and then we got our, uh, 5-volt output going to this power rail that goes all the way across. And then 
on the bottom we have the connector for the connector for the power supply and then after we solder these on these on we will um, put uh, this which is just like a screw down for the power key forward get, get you out of there ah oh, my butt hurts I hate this fucking thing this thing's not comfortable I'm gonna grab, grab a pillow, put it under my butt. This is not comfortable. Even though I've only been here, oh, I've already been here for an hour. Jesus. Hope this cuts down nicely. Get this boy in here. Get get a couple wires soldered. Now we have power, power. Oh shit! I totally fucking spaced. I need. Mm. I need a power wire going to wherever the um, motor controller is gonna go. And I need a connector for the motor. Ugh. I need you right now. I need you. Oh, beautiful. You and you. My power is gonna be right there. So I want V not there. So I want you as close over here as possible. I think we had it. There. Motor. Mm. Buddy boy. Buddy boy. I'd like you to go through there. You to come down here, so right about there. You could just like chill there. Beautiful. That was the smoothest we have. Beautiful. And then <clears throat> I can raise this up a little bit, see a little bit better. Now I can see a little bit better. Beautiful. Okay. <clears throat> that means we also need. <clears throat> Wire from over here to over there. Red wire. Red wire. A bunch of red wire. That's what I want to do with it. Should I do this and then kind of wrap it around there? Oh, that's not a terrible, good idea. Terrible. I'm into that. Pinch down. There we go, sir. And then my VMOT pin is this one right here. It's my voltage input for motor controller. You can also use your snips a little bit. I'm going to get my insulation on. Push it a little bit back to not. Bud, this isn't holding shit. Go. Come on, bud. You can fucking do it. Yeah, you got it. It's okay. Fine. Then I live through this layer. Still haven't done that 5 volt yet. And then flip you over. And you're going to be you. Yeah, I also need to do a negative. <sighs> oh, yeah, and I also need a capacitor for my power. Fuck. Yeah, this is going to be a little jank. But we live with the jank for our prototypes, and then we make circuit board. We'll really just start. I think the final circuit board. I'm looking forward to the final. I mean, I could honestly just fucking send out a circuit board, and it would take a lot less time than this. To fuck around, I'll, I'll probably end. The problem is that I'm the the likelihood that I make a mistake on the board is high. At least one mis mistake will happen on that. So that means I'm at least four weeks out before I can use this. And there's a possibility that if I do this, I can have this done a week or so. Um, in fact, I'm gonna bend you back the other way. I'm gonna try not to like force wires too often, but to make sure that they don't stress. I need access to put this on. Oh, Jesus Christ. Well, I guess you're going on the top again. Or fucking not. God, I'm a fucking dingus. This is fine. I sh <laughs> I'm a fucking idiot. God damn it. Mother yeah, so you start getting, so you start losing, losing your orientation. And now this, this was actually supposed to go under here, but I'm soldering on this side. Ugh. So that should have gone on the other side. I think I can still fix this. Make it. Yeah, that is okay enough. Yeah, and then I'm going to take some black wire. Give me some black wire. Yeah, I'm good with that. Is this going to sit still? Sit, sit, sit. Uh, I'm okay with. It. Looks like shit. But like I said, prototype. I don't care anymore. Ring iron solder. I think before we do anything else, I'd like to test test this once I get uh, this final ground. Watch. 
Honestly, this is probably your best bet if you're using solid wire for getting these as clean as possible. Clean as short as possible without taking too much off. Alright, I think we've almost got power set up. I'm definitely going to want to set, um, set the output and then hook up the ESP and double check that that hooked up. So, we've got that. What we can do now is take this red wire, cut a little bit off, strip a little bit off. Both ends. Thank fucking god I put that the right. Knowing me, I would have faced it the other the other way and I wouldn't have been able to get wires. I hope that's uh, flush enough for the power spears. Negative wire. Uh, nope. I definitely messed up the polarity color. Color's wrong, but I'd like to keep this known values in line and order. Mess anything up. Those in there. This is not final wiring, but be good for testing. And then we put this in here. And let me pump my power supply to 29.2. And plug loop. And where is... Oh yeah! I haven't shown this off on camera yet. I got a new multimeter. I got a pen multimeter. I am so stoked about that. Oh, that looks great on camera. Oh yeah. What do we got here? Are we reading anything? Oh, it's definitely a negative, so we're going somewhere. I'm gonna go to see what you're reading. You're... What are you... Okay. Here's another option. So you're you are definitely supposed to be 29.0. Okay, something's wrong. Something's definitely short. I can tell now already that something is shorted for sure. Okay, let's do uh, continuity. You can do with this boy. Yee. Beep, 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 beep. So let's check positive, negative. Yes, they are take I don't know if the, um... All right then. Something's fucked up. How the fuck did that happen? Oh my god. You are fine. How the fuck? I got nothing. I'm not seeing anything. So I got power and ground. Oh, I should have ran that down there first. Oh fuck. <sighs> Come on, get out of there. Fuck off. Fuck. Oh, well, I pulled a fucking... Ugh, maybe I'm... Maybe I'm just gonna make a board, guys. Y'all, I think I'm gonna make a board. Nothing here makes... Oh, well, there's your problem. There's possible... Check what we got here. No, nothing. I'm, uh... I'm not happy with this. I mean, this is gonna be a pain in my fucking ass. Are we doing it? I, I have... I actually have something started in easy eda so i think let me take a break i've been on camera for an hour and a half now and i need mama needs a moment because uh, this is not working out as well as i hope and you make a board i mean i'd love to not make a board today i think i think this is i think this is board worthy uh, i'd like to find some Go copy and paste. Uh, I'll make graphics for this later and <clears throat> overlay them myself. And let's go to uh, uh, easy EDA real quick. And what is their parts? LCSC. I want to see. So what I really like is um, connectors. I want like low profile 2.54. Mama's gonna have a cigarette while we do this. <sighs> Oh, right. I've had my fucking ashtray out the entire time. Got a new ashtray at Daiso. What the fuck are you? Interesting. Interesting. Um, I want to do... No, I don't want... I want connectors. I need capacitor. Although, having a capacitor on board would be nice, because I am going to need a... What is a tantalum? Polymer electrolytic. They're through -hole. I'm gonna reduce this to pin header and female pin header and female header. You mean dick and vagina? Or dick and ass. Sodomy. There we go. There we go. That's not these quite. 
but what I want to find, and I know they have them because I believe I've heard talk, like super, like these, but super low profile, so they're SMD connected. I wonder if I can, uh, all of these, ready for all of them. I know I've purchased, so like, basically that, but super low profile. 25, quite tell what it was, probably just the three, two header. These are also an option. I don't know that they're as low profile as the other one. Yeah, this is starting to get close. The ones that I had actually end up going, you end up, oh yeah, so those are bent. The ones that I was looking for actually go through the, can you like just all of them on one fucking page, please? And let's filter. It's definitely gonna get, oh yeah, single pins. I want, oh, and I want to reduce these even more to, I have, yeah, surface mount 25. Okay, surface mount, not what I'm looking for, bud. That, but do you have that in single row? Oh, you know what? Yeah, can we do these in single row? Oh, I've seen them in single row, and they, they go, the SMD pins go, like, left and right. <sighs> I don't want to do a full... 40, 50, Jesus Christ. And I do not need two rows, I need single rows. I wonder what uh, AliExpress. I'm gonna end up doing um, through holes, but I think what I wanna do is also have the option. SMD female 2.5, oh, 2.5, like that. I also like these, five, four. Yeah, like this, but single row, and then they alternate the direct. These won't work. I mean, I'm okay with the size, and I'm okay with them being big honking pins off the top. See, side doesn't work very well. Yes, this is what I'm shorter. There's a 40 pin one. I need a 13 and 8. I need that. I don't even know they're 40 shorter. There's no data. <clears throat> I just like would like to compact this more. But I think we're just going to go with uh, standard stuff. So let's get back into... Am I done? Are you done? Last pass. I overhead. Is that right? Did I, did I fuck that up? Bruh. Just take me to you. Remember me. Log in. Designer. Skip. I know how to use you. Can that just be like a front door ES sheet one? Yeah, this looks great. Let's uh, close that. I got my butt converter. Let's um, uh, move. So you're going to go over here. I'm gonna flip around like that. What, dude? Bruh. Flip you around. You get your five volts on the left side. And have you over here. Put our buck like this. And we're gonna do all of our outputs over here. And all those go shortly. Actually, let's go to the EE Live, our library. Let's do relay user. We're gonna be using a on all in one relay board. So I'd love to do a relay on the board. I think I have these. But, and I could definitely relay PCB, I'll relay on the I want to see if there is a module for one of these. I mean, ultimately, it would be nicer if I just had a relay board itself. I only have 12 volts, though. Can I run those at 24? Is that going to burn them out? <clears throat> be not great, but can you just give me a schematic for that? <sighs> ultimately, it's just... 3 pins, 2.54, make footprint. That's going to be way easier than just try, than trying to wire up an actual relay. I can make the modification for V2. Uh, this is just for the latch, so I think I've got it there. Um, let's get rid of that. Let's get rid of this. Start doing some wires. I want um, you, 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 up here, down here. Okay. Then I'm going to do a ground here, ground here, 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 want here. I think that's actually also a ground. IO2, yep, ground there. There's my fire here, here, here. So many, I got a 5 volt here. I'm not using the effect. I'll wire it in if necessary. Probably it. Don't need it. Let's go back to our wiring. Here, you, here, here, here. Okay, now look at how we had this wired up here so we need the four pin it's going to be i don't want wire you nfc i2c so i got this will generate this will generate the pad for that so that's fine this is going to be a uh, relay one flat this is going to be open close this is going to be sw zero open 
close your one, plus w two, you're gonna close oh which means y'all need to be y'all need some grounds. Ground, 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 and ground is one of you. I'm not sure to flop those ground plus five is gonna be elsewhere. Ground get you up. Ground is that one. Plus five is that one. Fly down. Okay. And then now I want to see what my pins are. Oh yeah, let's not forget to work. Oh right, I'm gonna want another four pin as well. Lib E E letter. It's the R F zero. You up there, there. <sighs> what is E D nine eight eight or eight four nine eight? These are not direct. These are some other logic power supply. E D. And the other ones on these, I didn't notice that I had. Right, I need a clear to make sure I have two. <clears throat> I don't remember having that one wired up. This one did work. Step direction, and then I have those two getting bolted. And then I have this ground pin. My VMOD. I'm doing my ground. But this is this ground. No. Yeah, this works. So this is a slightly different setup for the because this is the original. I have it. Uh, I have a, yeah. It's very interesting that they're doing it that way. Can always bridge that. Yes. Oh, remember the Palolo ones also being purple. Death. Why is MS one through three also getting? What are those? Yeah, like this does this doesn't require those. This is way different than this is slightly different than what I was originally expecting. Like I expected in the designs that I've seen, um, I have seen sleep and reset be connected to the three volt logic right here. Those are DRVs though. Oh, that makes more fucking sense. Cool, so I'm gonna give this three volts from I wonder if three volts is enough to power this. It has thirty three on there, so I'm giving it five volts and then it should be good. I'm gonna do this. What Fuck this, doing a wire to, and then now we can start wiring up our, our ports here. Should be pretty quick. Um, let's go to our A4998. Our sleep in is IO2. Okay, our step IO12. Beautiful. Dirt pin. Okay, beautiful. Very clearly see going on. You take a minute, so that alarm will gain a big bag. I like the. Okay, um, let's move up to our NFC. Our NFC, our SDA goes to, SDA goes to aisle 15, and our SCL goes to aisle 14. Cool. Uh, well, that goes up there. Our relay line goes to ground, and our signal is IO0, which is output only and used for programming. So we are going to eventually need to figure out a way for that, those two pins to coexist. So I would probably suggest, um, probably use um, a, probably put just put a button on there for programming. But at least for now, I think programming is okay to do without, like actually remove the board from it, so. Yeah, hopefully these also come before I move. I am going to be starting to stay up in, um, be moving up to, um, uh, Oregon for a little. I'm going to move open close over here, because that's the way. Can you not, friend? I literally select, oh my fuck, dude. Dude over here. Do you like that? Beautiful switch goes to 32 and 33. This honestly doesn't matter which direction this goes. This can be fixed or modified in software. And if it's not right, you can always or flip the whatever. All right, now all we need is the open and close limit, which is 39 and 36, which are input only. 39, 36, and 30 are input. Nice here. So here, here, that, six. So beautiful. I think that's it. I think that's the schematic. Yeah, stepper, NFC, relay lamps for lamp, relay for close, or switch for close, switch for open, uh, open close switch. This actually buys me 
fine. And I need to put path UA 5.08. I might have to grab that from the library 5.08. Weird setup, but okay. Screw terminal. Two, that's a. Can you label your shit right, please? Two pin connect. Yeah, this is a better. Okay. That goes there. That. That. that there. Oh, I need. To, I need to know what. I need to know what your fucking put bud. I need to know. What this is looking like too. This is the only house for this. Can you? Could you like? Down there, you go. But I want to look at library view. You, yeah, that's it. That's it. Beautiful. Call you C zero. Uh, two volt. You volt. Cool. So we're gonna do uh, wire. Do 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 do. Cool. And then we're gonna do you. Come on. You you. Are you even connected, bud? Oh, I see. I hate, I hate some of these fucking footprints. Ugh. Okay, it's all fucking over again. You to you. You. If it doesn't do that, then you. Beautiful. Y'all are connected. Delete you. Go from here to here. And here to here. Escape. Um, call this in. And then this can be... I believe they wanted me to do at least like a hundred microfarad min 100 you have got a 150 cool um let's save it. can also do an en i wonder if i can just like bridge the sleep pin if that's probably that you do throw a bodge wire in there if that's wrong let's see what our board's gonna look like design or you're just i don't need those nets though I don't have anything to do with it. They're just gonna be floating. Oh, did I do... Yes, I do have five. I don't need to fucking make a board. You wanna know a size? How about I give you this size, which is... Can I have another fucking... I do have a battery. Oh gosh, you're fucking mucked up. Oh, your fucking battery is all jacked up too, bud. Well, it'll work. 31 by... Thirty-one by forty-nine. Zero. Zero. Thirty-one. Forty. Beautiful. I wonder if you even come on, bruh. Probably have. Why? Why is this like? You could swap those. That that would make things a lot easier. If I swapped those. So swap step and dir buck converter here. Uh, I'm gonna put you on. Probably give you a little bit more space there, bud. In zero as well. Like ah, very specifically. And then we have M zero. We go here, which means that needs. I'm gonna move that. Or I might want you to be on the bottom. You can go on any side. Act fish the right relay needs to be like, basically live here ish. Kind of live like here. Above that. And then we can just kind of put connectors wherever they switch. Zero goes there. This is a fucking mess. Switch to goes here. Fact, since power is underneath, let's actually just put the relay over here. I'm gonna need to make a lot of relay goes. And I really need to fix that fucking footprint. You can go. Just really. God damn it, no. Can you fucking stop, please? Bruh, let me grab you. <clears throat> Almost six mil. 33.7. Let's do. No, not sub. Wreck that. Oh, let's do sill. Let's see if it's on top. Well, it is about the width and height of that. I wonder if it's better to put power on top. Some occlusion. Okay, so what I want is make a big enough. 
and their length is that's 26 and a half by 33. I hate that I can't just honestly I can just hang it off the edge it makes the board smaller and then that gives me yeah then that that can go like that instead I like that yeah I like that a lot better so that that goes there can you fucking signal the GPX ground is on the left that means I get to put you right up puts all this power under you what did I get measure this this looks like a goddamn <sighs> see what this looks like in uh, 3d yeah, that'll do those are supposed to be uh, male yeah. I mean that looks straight up like it's supposed to increase a little bit and move down maybe cut out some of this board here just in case Is that one that I soldered up or soldered things? Although you're right up, so I'm gonna not do too much. Let's move you that. And what I wanna do is your. Is your to be. Uh, my library is my favorite. <sighs> I'd like to be able to just edit, edit the foot, but they fucking can't. It's not how the pins are. Plus, I don't need the full. I need them on both sides. And beautiful. On the bottom. I don't want to delete that off there. I'm gonna put this here and be on the I wonder if I can just seat those. I don't want to I don't even want to try that's a nice thought. Okay, go back to here, go here, go here, here. Cool. Um and then I'm gonna switch during step 18 and 6. Is it those? And then we Excellent! Excellent! This is starting to look really good. Next, I have a wooden mine. You are also a 3v3 over here, so maybe I want to use you. Let's do start with. Oh, that's way too close. We'll get there. Get everything shoved over a little bit. Move you over a little bit more. I could do you over here, honestly. Yeah, I can totally make Do you. You are. Beautiful. Put you on our setup. I'm gonna. I'll thicken these. Uh, put V not all the way up there. Do signal wires will just work way better. Um, I'm okay with just shoving a power wire down the center. Um, should be on bottom. Let's put you on the bottom layer. Let's have you, 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 you. Still that way. Sick. Dealing with it with is oh, one millimeter. Chunky power power wire. One millimeter. One mil. Beautiful. Nice big. Chunky power. All right, all right, all right. Top layer order. Yeah, one mil. Nice chunky output. All right, zero point two five four. Drop that back. Start moving on. Wait a minute. I think I fucked this up. God damn it! I didn't double check anything. Yeah. Yeah. Wait. Yeah. Yeah. That's right. Ah. <sighs> okay. Move. In fact, I'm gonna put you on bottom. That doesn't connect with their pull load. Iceberg C needs a ground and a power. Is my ground like more room to give you power? Well, this is the shit that bugs the fucking crap out of me about circuit design. Is it's always just like, oh, you wanted that thing? Oh, you wanted that thing? I guess it's getting dark out. Oh gosh, it's getting dark out, so we can start. Oh, go get some out of diet coke. This actually came out on good. How how fucking deep are we into this recording? Three. Three hours and eleven minutes, and not only have we decided not to, um, not to do a prototype, but to design a board. And this board is probably going to fail, but it's going to be here in about a week and a half. And hey, I'm going to do this one here. Let's uh, undo that here. All right, this little um. I've got this cross. We're not using Wi Fi. How many more signal pins? Not 3v3. You're a 3v3. Ah, yeah. So I do want. <clears throat> oh, yeah. We need to hook this high square C up. Four. You. You. You'd be, I'm going to give you five. Although, blow my shit up. I never know. 
Uh, what are you called? Um, before I send this out, I'm gonna do a pass. I am gonna cast In fact. I can just fucking. I'd like to before I even send this out, just at least uh, test the NFC functionality and see if I can get it to uh, run properly. Let's go back to solder for a bit. Oh, this is obnoxious. Yeah, I don't just PN five three two the home. This is what oh, you the home. thirty minutes long. You did say 5 volts, pretty sure. Having a DuPont cable. I'll just, no, I'll just borrow, borrow you for a little bit. Beautiful. all I need from this video right now. Um, what I'm doing right now is I'm creating uh, one of my USB VD boards. My old we found one. Uh, just chilling so I can get some power. In fact, I want to get just a regular breadboard. Like a solder. <coughs> If I get this working, then all I need to do, then I can start playing around with um, my NFC ring. I, I am going to want to finish watching that video, uh, but for now, I want to get this. So we have, I want to make sure that everything works, or at least this works. The I squared C is where ports that I set up. <clears throat> if I have dick pins that I can work with. Yeah. A little bit to work with. Come out, kiddos, 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 kiddos. Cool. One in there. Sweet, 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 sweet. So you and you just like come out. Cool. Hopefully that should work. This is very much a test. Um, do you have an LED on you? Do you want me to tell if it's working or not? I wonder. Will we just get <coughs> some Dupont connectors? connected uh, NFC 15 and 14 and that would be ground 5 volt SDA is 15 which is my orange pin so that goes to 15 15 I need some more I have a dick to dick uh, positive and ground for another 5 volt Oh, you are smashy smasherson. Jeez, pins tolerance mark. All right. Um, so I need a USB cord, three volts, and I need this. This is what's uh really great about this is that like you can just theoretically I can just uh, so power pause theoretically what I can what what's possible is that like I can start modularly building this up so this is a good test and data setup get that those are that's got power this has got power and let home assistant okay I'm gonna probably do home assistant here he is beautiful. Connecting to so the K. K. I have. Ah, oh, block that off. Okay, let's go to. Um, yes, we had it open there. I need C bus. I need PN. K. Okay. 
So this is going to be that. So let's get our settings set up. This, but I need manually specify I square C ID. I don't even need that to ID to bus A. Bus. Oh yeah, let's just call you bus bus. Again, 14 and 15. SDA is 15. DA didn't. SDL, SDA. SDA is 15. Super fucking easy. <laughs> and, okay, and then... End up reading below for how to use second tag frame. Uh, this, uh, this is probably the greatest thing. I don't even think I mentioned this, but we are going to be compiling and then uploading this directly to this uh, ESP32 over Ethernet. You can also do it over Wi-Fi too, which is absolutely beautiful. And it's actually compiling. Like this isn't a scripting language by any means. This is all compiled. It's going to use uh, part of the memory to upload the new one, and then it's gonna reboot. And it's only uploading one. Yeah, you can see pm 532 is right there, I squared C, uh, NDEF, I don't know what NDEF is, logger, Ethernet component. I, I added a couple other things, and Wi-Fi doesn't need to be put on. I think I, it, it defaults to Wi-Fi, and I think at a certain point they'll end up, oh, there are, some of those are, looks like it's compiling a whole bunch of shit. I mean, GPO makes sense. Matrix. Yeah, it's going to take a second to reboot. Yeah. We're just constantly going to wait for a better feel even. Fuck. It. Oh, fuck, dude. I need to get a new ring. This should work. Theoretically. Oh, these are I score C. What is... What is your proper... You know? Yeah, this is this is what... Requesting your charity. Um, fuck it. It should read that. I'm pretty sure I got a... Yeah, it seems to be a... I mean, 14, 15 is no problem. 20, 22. 21 and 22. What am I using those? I'm not... Those don't exist because they're probably being, being used for something. 14, 15 should be fine. SDA. SSR. Hmm, no ice. I don't really need to scan. Power cycle? Oh, nice. O24. Nice! Oh, NDEF. Nice. The other one's an NDEF formatted. Oh, fuck yeah. Stop. Edit. Duration. Tag. Automate. Uh, need a call service. Rip. Rich. I just had it scanning. Home. Close. Worked one time. Waiting. Oh, get. Uh, connectivity issue. Super weird. It just like breaks out. At okay, that worked. It fucking worked. It's very cold in here now. My door is. But this is gonna need some serious fucking debugging. I've been recording for four hours. I am done. Um, I think it is time to go get some sodas. I will speak with you in the future. This is not gonna be four hours of video, mind you. <laughs> Uh, it's gonna be probably, we'll see. We'll see how it goes. Uh, I'm Six Ryan, or Chloe Madison, whatever. You can call me like my, but my pronouns are, uh, she, her, or it's easier. And, uh, I'm on the internet places. Um, kind of changing my, kind of changing all my handles right now. So, uh, bear with me. Uh, this is what I do. I fuck around with electronics and I make things in my bus and then I make them into uh, DIY kits. So this eventually will be probably a DIY custom circuit board like we talked about earlier. And at least for now, um, I will see you later um, and subscribe and stuff, comment and 